Hello, back again for another drawing lesson. This one's going to be, and look, I'm remembering my glasses this time. This one, we're going to be doing a leaf collage. And the with doing the collage, I'm just going to take, and I, I realized I didn't grab my ruler. Being a good teacher, I should grab the ruler to divide up the paper. But I, the artist in me says, I'm drawing a line down the middle of my paper. And then this one's a pretty good practice. I'm going to do it into sixes right in here. You know what? Let's keep it simple so you can do it as well. I'm going to draw it in eights. So squares here like such. Okay. And then that goes through. So a leaf collage, really getting out in nature and then seeing a few different leaves, how they're drawn. I'm going to zoom this in here in hopes that, yeah, we're able to see the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to draw <laughs> pretty simple as it is. So a couple different leaves here. This leaf is one of my favorites to draw. It's pretty easy to do. We can do it with a tail, meaning something like this, as I have, and then I just draw. And a leaf is not really that symmetrical, or they're symmetrical, but they're not that straight. So I go through like such and then I do the just like we did with the turkeys going through one way of drawing a leaf there's a simpler even simpler way draw curve it out and then I start at the top and scoop it down here kind of start at the top scoop it down here and it's your own style you can take and divide the leaf up into compartments like such and I'm really, I've kept this symmetrical on this one. And I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go through and divide it up. It's driving me crazy having that extra line there. But it's what ended up wider, which is okay. You can do multiple leaves. So I'm just going to do on a strand here. And notice these lines I did pin. I'm going to go through. And here's, how, here's a little artist trick fixing it up. So I'm committing to that and just making it scribbled in there. Kind of thing to where it looks there and adds the contour and then i'm just going to extend this out so it goes thin and then i'm going to just add the leaves right onto here and when you're doing a bunch of them they need to look similar because you won't have multiple leaves growing on one kind of tree so oh i am not liking that let's take a look here see if we can get that tuned in there we go better oh it's going through all right multiple leaves Going through again, line down, taking it. I'm going to take and I'm going to take notice what I'm doing with the line down this time, a little thickness to it down here, some width, width on there. And then this one, I'm really thinking I'm going to curve it out and I'm thinking like a heart right here on it. So, really doing the heart. Whoops, got a little lopsided and that's perfectly fine. Make the leaf work, it's a different perspective. So, this one is a little further away. So, I'd be really having this close in there and touching like this versus this one we may be even wider i'm just going to go through and connect it like such no right or wrong way again with doing leaves own it do it this is a little more lopsided a little more squiggly than i wanted but coloring will definitely fix that i'm going to draw leaf down this direction and i was thinking about uh, maple leaves in canada so more of a swoop kind of thing such and then going through and swoop down and such and then go through notice i didn't finish this off and i could take it that reminds me i end up going through and there's um i find it easier to draw in the leaf like uh there's a different kind of maple leaf getting the spikes out there when you got more curves to it so i've got this kind of thing so if it's more of a spiky leaf and i'm going to take those curves in and notice I'm just kind of starting all the way along here and I know that I'm going to have to connect them together for the leaf so something like this and this is a little more skinny than I had got but it's working in the space there so a little more spiky and then going back and realizing oh I didn't finish this leaf off which then reminds me for my next leaf I'm going to go over here I can put those prongs in already like such and then I can draw the leaf around it. So I'm going to draw the leaf around it and go, oops, I want this up here and draw the curves all around. And notice I'm just letting my mind flow and however I'm wanting to take it. I'm like, oh, does that look like a leaf? Yep, that looks like a leaf to me. And then taking it through. So again, putting them down on paper, putting them down on paper, 
going through, I've got my last box, and I'm like, oh, I really like this pronged one. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to just kind of make this one more flow, kind of more uneven. And I want to put some leaves on these ones. So maybe I'm going to do this kind of thing, a little more of a teardrop one here. We'll go through, and let's put these ones. Whoops, went over here. Totally fine. Totally fine. We can go through and do that. So I got that. I'm like, oh, I've got this line. See where I goofed up on the line? So why not add some thickness here? See that? Just to fix, fix it. And that looks like it was meant to be. So I've got that. This is kind of crazy right over here. So you know what? I'm going to just add it to all of them. Make it look like that's how those leaves are. These leaves got little thorns to it. And somebody asked me what kind of leaf that'll be. I'll just say, huh, it's a leaf I've seen. And then I won't add that I've seen it on my own paper. That's where I'm at. So taking this, finishing it off, I am going to pause the video momentarily to, uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to pause the video momentarily. I'm just going to go through and own it. Grabbing my crayons here, taking colors. So leaves, nice thing about, you know, fall colors. So I'm going to keep with all warm colors. I color my leaves in and I'm just taking the crayon here. And as you can see, I'm coloring through, and yes, you've got it. I am going to end up layering some colors in here. So where the white is, I'm going to go through and take the brown on top of this yellow right here. I'm taking color of that in, more of a brown feeling. And boy, that camera is really making it look like a scribble right now. That's, oh, gosh, that is not looking good. I'm going to take the yellow back over. That camera, it's not, it's not that scribbled on here, but the camera is sure making it look scribbled, huh? went through. I don't know if you knew this. I uh, learned this from uh, first grader, as a matter of fact. You can take an eraser and erase crayon if it draw, you draw too much like that. And then when I color the over the other color, it'll cover it right on up. So I went through. I've got some yellow here. I'm going to want to do another yellow leaf. I'm going to do, I imagine this one turning kind of yellow down the road. So taking and coloring this in, layering that up here. Another yellow. I did not like how that brown looked with that yellow. I'm going to go more tame and go a uh, lighter orange with it. And take a look. I'm afraid to look up at the camera and see what it did here. Hopefully it looks nicer. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, what breather. So I just dropped crayon on the floor in the dark. So what that brown, brown color will not be making a reappearance here unless I can pick it up. So I've been taking the orange and you don't always have to layer up the color. So notice what I'm doing. I'm taking and coloring the edges because this one's been out here real quick, real quick with your time here. I'm thinking with this, this would be something I'd really slow down and probably spend an hour doing, but you do not want to listen to me go on for an hour. I'm going to take the same color and write down the veins of the leaf, color in dark, and then I'm just taking the color and as I go through those veins, taking, and again, I'm afraid to look at the camera. All right, yeah, look at the camera. Camera is not as forgiving. So taking and coloring in here, getting all that white filled in. Yeah, I like that better. And then I would stick through all my warm colors as I go through. I grab this reddish color, this red. Yeah, this is really pink looking. So notice I'm just colored really light on this leaf to try it out here. Over that, then I would grab, let's see here. Here's a different kind of red. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect. And that's the nice thing about leaves is, you know, they turn and taking the warm colors. And so that's even more red. And then I'm going to wash it out here. I'm going to grab another, another yellow, the real light yellow. I'm going to wash this out with a yellow because that's what leaves do when they turn. So taking that and wash that out. So really going through and turning and having fun. Continuing to coloring through. Then my backgrounds, what I want, really want to do for a background, I want to just take green color and I'm going to color in one square green like such around the leaf. Do I even want to see what the camera's doing? Okay, the camera's being forgiving with that. Okay, going through and taking that. So I'm going to go green every other like a checkerboard pattern all the way through is what this will be. So green, green, green going through and then the blues. I'm going to pause the camera real quick so you don't have to watch me color all these in and I'll turn it back on in just a second. 
Okay, I'm back with the coloring in. Again, I did the cool colors for the backgrounds there. I staggered back and forth, and then I just grabbed the warm colors, and I grabbed and layered up. Like, I ended up coloring the veins in on this one with the red. I did more brown on this one going through. Um, this is another one of those projects I wish I would have done on a bigger piece of paper, and I would have just uh, stuck with drawing with pencil and then gone over with crayon. I think it would look a lot better. This is just not complimentary. Um, I, yeah, it just really does not look good without having the crayons or even the dark markers. So I look forward to seeing what you end up drawing and I hope yours turn out very nice.